Good evening and welcome to ITV News Anglia. Here's a look at tonight's main stories. Not how it should have been, the war hero forced to mark the 75th anniversary of VE Day in his garden instead of at Westminster Abbey. I am disappointed because we are very thin, thin on the ground now. Another year, maybe none of us will still be here. As bank holiday street parties are cancelled, the amazing footage from 1945 that shows how we might have been celebrating. Captain Tom tells us why his VE Day joy 75 years ago was tinged with sadness. All the friends that I had were still out in, in, uh, in Burma fighting the Japanese. There was no relief for them. Plus, learning in lockdown, how schools are trying to ensure it doesn't have a lasting impact. And how a poignant family picture helped inspire a duchess and a new art project. But first, the innovation of communities in the East to ensure the 75th anniversary of VE Day isn't lost to the lockdown. The traditional Maybank holiday was moved to tomorrow, so as many as possible could honour those who served during the Second World War. But since the pandemic, hundreds of public celebrations have had to be abandoned. However, as Natalie Gray reports, people are finding very different ways to mark the end of war in Europe. We shall remember them. D-Day hero Alan King should have been taking part in a service at Westminster Abbey tomorrow and a parade down the Mall. Instead, the 95-year-old will be lowering the Union flag in his front garden in I in Suffolk, his daughter by his side. I am disappointed because we are very thin, thin on the ground now. Another year, maybe, maybe none of us will still be here. Today is Victory in Europe Day. What a contrast to actual VE Day when you couldn't move for people. Lockdown has meant that hundreds of events have had to be abandoned, like the Duxford Air Festival in Cambridgeshire. But in the same way that millions of us are using technology to take part in quizzes, see family members, even get married, VE Day 2020 is taking place at home and online. General Lord Dannett will take part in a digital service from Norwich Cathedral, which people can watch on YouTube. Well, it is disappointing because the uh, 75th anniversary of the end of the war in Europe is really important. But in a funny sort of way, that this virtual moment gives us a better opportunity to pause and reflect privately. And with all events scrapped in Haverhill and Suffolk, the town councils made an online tribute featuring seven-year-old Archie Panel from the town. Bletchley Park, the home of the codebreakers near Milton Keynes, is closed, of course, but it wants videos of how people are celebrating at home because these strange times will become an important bit of history. People can watch more than a 1,000 pipers from 27 countries playing a specially written piece by Norwich pipe band major Roger Bayes. Her front garden in Leighton Buzzard is songstress Fiona Harrison. She's been doing driveway concerts all week after the ones she was originally booked for were cancelled. Because we've all been in lockdown, uh, people have been looking to the music of the past to uh, raise spirits, and that's what I've been out doing. I've been lifting morale, British morale, with all those wonderful songs of the 1940s. Holly and Jasmine Parker from Great Oakley in Essex will be standing on an old war bunker waving and remembering their great-grandfather, Cyril Lord. The message here, it is a big anniversary, but you can still mark it in your own small way. Natalie Gray, ITV News.